Uh, hello friends, uh, this is Krish Naidu here, uh, speaking on behalf of Mathnal. And Mathnal is a supply chain analytics consulting and training firm. So as you all know that we are actually building up a web series on demand forecasting. So I hope that you might have seen uh, the earlier uh, programs or the web series on the demand forecasting. So here we are uh, coming up with one more program on the demand forecasting. And today we are going to uh, discuss about the forecasting bias. Let me write down what is this forecasting bias. Right? So I'll give a small presentation on what is forecasting bias, right? So I'll take two variables here. The first variable is the historical sales. The second variable is the forecast, which is done on the base of a forecast model or a mathematical model. So we are not going to write what is a math uh, what is a mathematical model. We are going to just write the numbers directly. So let me say, I'll also present put one more variable here that is time period. For Jan, we'll take six months data. Jan, Feb, March, April, May, and June. Let's say my sales in the month of uh, Jan and that historical sales is 200 units, 150 units, 11 units, 100 units, 10 units, and 28 units. And my model suggests me the forecast numbers which is as 222 175 29 120 5 and 20 let me find the forecasting error and the error is We'll write the formula here. The error is equal to forecast minus historical sales. So here it will be 22 if we use the formula and follow the formula. Here it will be 25. Here it will be 18. Here it will be 20. Here it will be minus 5. Here it will be minus 8. If I draw a graph of the error values, a line chart, this is my zero. The first value is 22. Let me say this is the first value, 22. Second value is 25. Third value is 18. Fourth value is 20. Fifth value is minus 5. And the last value is minus 8. If I draw the graph, join these points, This is a plot. So what I see, most of the 
errors or on the positive side. Most of the errors are on the positive sides. The errors which are below the zero, they are minus five and minus eight. So what we see here from the graph is so we are forecasting in most of the scenarios higher than the historical sales. So this scenario is called positive bias. This our forecast is on one side. The forecast is on the higher side. So this creates a doubt that our math forecast model, which is a mathematical model, is biased towards over forecast. And what will happen? If we have a positive bias, it means we may build higher inventory which costs to increase the cost of supply chain right so how the bias impacts how we calculate how we look at the bias from the graphical point of view. There are some formulas which also computes the forecasting bias. So the formula for forecasting bias, I just don't, I just want to give a formula here. Is equal to cumulative error divided by mean absolute deviation this is one of the formulas there are various other formulas which we can use to compute the forecasting bias but this is one of the formula so if you want to learn the, the depth of the forecasting so we are starting a program on this month 15th of march 2020, we are starting one demand forecasting and inventory management program. And for inquiries, you may reach me at krish at the rate of mathnal.com or you can WhatsApp me at plus nine one seven nine eight nine three double six three eight one. So guys, look forward to your association with Mathnal and build your good profile on demand forecasting and inventory planning. And we will be focusing our entire program on the statistical functions and statistical methods so that you can produce a good forecast with strong evidence. Okay guys, so I'll take a leave from here and we'll meet and uh, in case if you have any inquiries or if you want to register, uh, register for the program, you can call me and or you can email me and we'll take it forward from there. Thank you very much.